Alrighty, hey Aquarius, welcome back to Tip Talks 22. Guys, so this is going to be your romantic love reading. Um, yeah, we're just going to check into the energies and see what's happening. Aquarius, I'm just the messenger, okay? But I feel like you guys are in a space where you're super, super, super guarded with your energy here. And, like, I don't know if you guys are dealing with conflict or you're feeling like, I don't want to compete. You may also be taking some time to look back at past situations, right? To see what it is you're supposed to learn from it. It kind of feels like you might be getting over something or someone. And that kind of has you guarded. Or you could also be really focused on your finances, your money, your career. Um, whoever it is that you are dealing with or who is in your energy they definitely see you as like a boss boss a boss <laughs> so you could be a man or a woman right um they definitely see you as like a boss person a boss babe uh definitely focused on career and your financial stability and success etc definitely see you as a person of authority as well um Someone who is more logical, maybe not so focused on their on your heart at this time, but they also have like this strong attraction towards you, like this. Uh, I want to say chemical attraction, physical attraction, right? They de definitely find you attractive here. I feel like this is someone that you've known for some time. I don't know though if you guys are in communication because your energy is super guarded at this time, but this person uh, feels like. Either they can't talk to you or they need to talk to you. Like there needs to be some type of communication here. So I don't know if you guys had an argument the last time that you spoke or what the deal is with that. But um, it's like, dang, all the time that we put into our connection and like we go back like two flats, right? Uh, <laughs> on the Cadillac. Uh <laughs> Like we put this energy into our our friendship, our connection, our relationship, and it's just for nothing, right? So it's weird because I see you. Like I said, you guys, I feel are healing, are really trying to learn and looking for like things that you're supposed to learn from certain partnerships or connections here. And I also see that you feel like a lot of love for this person. You are kind of showing up as the king of roses or you think that about this person. And the king of roses is definitely, um, it's like that king of cups energy where you are, have a lot of love for this person, right? Your heart is open for this person, but there's some healing that's taking place as well. Cause you guys also have that divine physician energy. All right, let's go ahead and jump in and see what comes out. Y'all know I got some new decks. So this reading is probably going to be longer than they usually are because I want to use them and I enjoy them. So let's do that. Okay. Uh, and yeah, I'm probably going to take a little break after I do all of you guys. So I'm going to leave you with this. All right, let's jump into it. So see guys, here you are Aquarius in this nine of wands energy. Some of you guys may be single. Um, and let me under, let me let let me make this clear. Just because you're single does not mean that people are not in your energy, honey. Because our usually our last connections and sometimes even people that we are not aware of are still like lingering in our energy. That's why it's so 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 important after breakups to take some time in solitude, which is see as I see, you guys are doing that with the hermit card here. And the star card. Both of those cards are of um, introspection and healing. Okay. I feel like you guys are. That's the space that you're in. And yeah. So there are some things here that you're not really talking about. Or not really focused on as far as romance goes. Some of you are focused on um, spiritual growth. Right. And so love is, yeah, love is just not really on your radar at this time. 
It's like I'm trying to move forward here. I'm focused on my coins, my ambitious goals. All right. What is this uh, five of wands here for Aquarius? My goosey said, yep. I feel like you guys are conflicted here. You may know that there is something that needs to be fixed or balanced or can be in your relationship here. Like that this is a conflict that can be moved, that you guys can move beyond. Yeah, because I feel like you guys do... Either see the potential to at least be amicable, at least be friendly in a relationship, but you're a little intimidated perhaps by something you've been been through in the past here. Yeah, strong sense of fear and maybe even self-sabotage. So it kind of feels like you guys are either giving mixed signals or you're kind of hot and cold in your own energy here. Like I said, this is somebody that you have known or know for a long time. Okay. And you may be just a little bit distrusting. Maybe you are afraid to go all in in this situation with this person. But I feel like you watch them on, um, watch their social media here. For sure. And I feel like you also hold them in a high regard. But it's like, I don't know if there's an energy of insecurity as well with that uh, Knight of Cups showing up there. Or you may just be kind of reluctant to present an offer. You could be feeling like whoever this person is that's in your energy, there's like a lot of competition and either you, it doesn't feel like you don't feel like you, you will be chosen. You may also just be interested in kind of dating around at this time, but I feel like y'all not even really thinking about love. Y'all not even really thinking about romantic situations right now because you're trying to heal. You're trying to grow, maybe getting over, like I said, a prior relationship. Uh, your person, on the other hand, is showing up with that Eight of Swords energy. Like, we don't even talk no more. That, you remember Drew Hill's song? Yeah. So there was definitely an energy of familiarity here. Something about you felt like home. There's definitely a comfort energy here. But with the Tower card, something happened that caused this relationship to crumble. Okay. Hold on a second. They may feel like you guys are kind of either distracted with work. What's this, Empress? Oh, okay. I don't know if you guys have children with someone or a baby mama. Yes, I feel like either they feel, and this could be this person, but I don't feel like it is. Um, they may know that you're getting over a past connection or relationship or situation here. So I feel like they've kind of resolved to let that be the case, right? Like something about the, the connection between the two of you felt one-sided to them. So they may feel like you are in a space where you're starting over, but also um, yeah, Maybe, <laughs> I'm just the messenger. They feel your defensive energy, okay? Like, they feel like you kind of closed off where you're not trying to show any real emotion here. 
But I feel like they have like a positive aspect of you. They have a positive view of you. But it's just like, okay, you guarded, so I'm going to be guarded too. Right? That's how that feels. They, they, I feel like they're definitely wanting to have some type of conversation here. This five spirit. I do feel like they're not necessarily happy with the way this this situation has played out. Man, this person. You're definitely on their mind, like in a major way. Okay. There's definitely a little bit of uh, regret here, like with the way that things played out. They definitely see your, like I said, your defensive energy here. They may have kind of been trying to give you a little bit of time here to figure out what you wanted to do, if you wanted to move forward, or what the energy was. And see, they may also feel like um, you guys have a lot of choices too, as far as like people that you could be dating. So they they are kind of thinking, okay, maybe you are in something new. Yeah. This could be somebody who kind of wants to just really pick your brain and have a discussion here. They, it feels like there's an energy here of not getting a fair shot, right? Or not, um, it's so crazy. <laughs> because guess what? Both of you have, like, we really go back. Y'all have this Queen of Cups energy. And the Queen of Cups definitely carries it, um, like, the forgiving energy, the energy of nurturing here. But I feel like uh, Aquarius, y'all's energy with that, it's like, I love you. I got this love for you. There's definitely some regret here. Like, there needs to be a conversation had. Maybe some forgiveness extended here. But something about this person for you is super intimidating. But you still watch them on their social media platforms and try to kind of keep up with what they're doing. You may know this person through work. There's a little bit of fear, though, that's keeping you from this energy. And then with your person. Ooh, yeah, your person has this uh, feelings of emotion to, toward you as well. They do feel like you guys could be a good partnership, like a good match here. But they may be more connected to... Either the way things used to be or that this may be what they're feeling about you. That you are connected to an old relationship or situation here. So it's like they're, they're kind of detaching or needing to detach from the possibilities here. Because this does not feel like it's an equal alignment. So they too are really kind of trying to focus on themselves.
So I feel like both of you are kind of uh, leveling up from a spiritual standpoint. And when I say spiritual, guys, I mean anything connected to your spirit, to your mind, to your body, to your soul. I feel like this person is open to a new start here. But it may or may not necessarily be with you. Let me tell you some of the energies that we have here. Definitely Leo, definitely Aquarius energy. You guys could be dealing with another Aquarius. Um, Gemini energies here as well. Gemini, Gemini energies here. Water signs are here. We definitely had uh, Taurus energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Capricorn for sure. Gemini again. Strong Gemini. Because that showed up three different ways. Okay. And that Gemini energy, guess what? It could also be about that like kind of being of two minds regarding a situation. You know, Geminis are the twin energies. Uh, let's see here. So if you, like I said, have been kind of hot and cold in your energy or moving towards them, but then maybe intimidated and pulling back, it's going to show up like that as well. I feel like you guys are learning or needing to go with the flow here. And your person um, is needing to really master the art of giving and receiving, right? So like I said, where something felt kind of one-sided in this situation here, I feel like that's part of the lesson for you guys, for them. Yeah, because this feels super one-sided. Like they are alone in this connection. Like, you don't really want it at all, but they still kind of are open to it. They're definitely needing to release the situation and take a step back. Okay. Um, they may have already, well, they haven't really done that. Because you're, you're still on their mind or in their energy. And it may just be like them holding you as kind of an option, right? But well, meanwhile, you guys, I feel, are in like a, I don't want to say dark night of the soul, but like a shadow work period where you are really um, focused on your own healing. But then you're also kind of debating like what is the value of this connection or this connection with this person. Leo energy showing up again right there. Scorpio energy is here. But yeah, like what is the value of this person or value of the connection with this person here? I feel like um, you guys are kind of in deep reflection, okay? And it's not just about your healing. It's, I feel like it's about this person and this person's energy as well, okay? With that moon card energy. I feel like there's maybe some type of answers here that you're waiting on. Or some type of clarity that you're wanting. Clarify, confront. Yeah. This could be a past partner that you're stuck on and you don't want to be. <laughs> you don't want to be. You want to be able to move forward as well. But, like I said, I feel... I don't feel like... It feels like you guys are thinking about a past relationship and then whoever it is that's here is thinking about you. <laughs> but this person here that, that is thinking about you, you like kind of thinking about them, but you're more focused on this past relationship. That's what it feels like. So there is something here that needs to be let go of. There definitely are some boundaries here that need to be relaxed just a little bit because that energy of inconsistency, Aquarius, is sabotaging. The potential for relationships here. Let's see what the Romance Angel Tarot deck has to say. Ooh, woo. Yeah, you guys are really closed off. You're being guided to open your heart here. To love. Allowing someone to love you. And being able to give this love. 
I feel like your guides, your angels are really trying to help you to do this healing. You're also being guided to free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life here. Because right now it feels like you, you may be kind of consumed by this healing. You're also being guided to let your friends help you. So like I said, this is someone that you know or have known for some time. So they could be offering some type of assistance that's going to lead to your healing. Yep. Where it would be beneficial for you guys to have some type of heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Which I feel is what this person is wanting anyway. So you're being guided, yep, to make the effort here. To open up to honestly discussing your feelings with this person. Make the effort which says great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. Clearly, what I say about y'all's mixed energy, y'all mixed signals, it says very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Okay. Also, allow this situation to unfold naturally. Okay. So if you are like, nope, let me, let me stay back from this person or let me not talk to this person because I don't want to get caught up because I'm having these fears, then that's basically you trying to control the situation, right? Instead of just allowing yourself to love and to be loved. That's the energy that I'm getting here. Let's see. What do we have for Aquarius, this person? This person. There is a strong magnetic attraction here. And I'm telling you... <laughs> That might be what you are, are not trying to fool with, Aquarius. And they also have heart-to-heart -heart conversations and let your, let your friends help you. So I'm telling you, you guys are likely dealing with a lot of the same thing. Yeah, you kind of may be having them question themselves. Questioning themselves because they also got you deserve love and allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So you guys are kind of mirroring each other in the energy of really needing to open up to the situation here. Let's see what Amira's love oracle cards say for Aquarius. Ooh. So you guys could have had something romantic, but it was like a short-term situation here. There's definitely a need for communication because there's a potential here to turn this situation into long term. Yeah, you need to be open to allowing yourself to have a good time in this relationship. We got fun times, parties, events, or having fun. So allow yourself to have fun. You also have union, a serious relationship, communication here, texting, phone calls online. So something short term has the potential to be something deeper, long term here. If you allow yourself to open up to having a good time, Aquarius. Yeah, they definitely see you perhaps as someone who is um, kind of controlled by either work or controlled by work or other things, right? But also a boss, an entrepreneur, but also kind of cold and detached in your energy, Aquarius, okay? With the gossip card, they may feel like either you fear or or are the or are concerned about what people would say, or this could be their fear. For some of you, this person's at a long distance here. So definitely dealing with a professional. Okay, so this long distance doesn't have to be an actual physical long distance. It could just be... Like you guys feel emotion, they feel emotionally distant from you because there's like no communication happening at this time. Courting man. They may also feel like you are either consumed with family or they just see you as that type of guy, like a family person. 
guy or girl. Yeah, but they also see the value in this relationship. We have true gem. And this could be the, a type of connection that they're manifesting because I feel like there's a potential for passion, but also friendship in this connection or partnership here. Okay. What else for this connection with Aquarius? Ooh. Hold on. Yeah, I think we're done with that deck. Spirit said don't even take those. <laughs> we were done with there. Okay, let's say here from Alice's Romance Oracle. Someone says love doesn't feel like a, enough. You are Aquarius uh, admiring how hard they work. Both of you seem pretty work oriented. You also think this person is super interesting here. And you really don't want them to, to be with anyone else. Something here where you may either feel your feelings are hurt or they may feel like you hurt their feelings. But there's like an energy of encouragement or, or inspiration that comes from someone in this relationship. Ah, you see, there's also, like I said, that chemistry that may be fearful, that may make you fearful. Like the attraction feels strong because you are having wild thoughts or have had wild thoughts about this person. And may be kind of in love with this person. So this feels like somebody you kind of fantasize about. Look, and your person is feeling like, I do want you, but I shouldn't. Right? <laughs> that could be because you're so closed off in your energy. And you're definitely on their mind. They do feel like they should have let go of a situation here. And so now they may have adopted that energy like, well, since you closed off, stay away from me. But it's so crazy because I don't feel like that's what they actually want. It says we have so much in common. They're definitely wondering why did you leave? And they've been having some regrets as far as th that situation goes. I told you there was like an energy of sadness, of remorse here. So you guys could have had some type of argument or just discussion or disagreement here. Some type of confrontational energy for Aquarius. See, you are fearing that you will get hurt by this person. And they do not like <laughs> your perspective on things. They definitely want to be closer with you and have this love for you. Let me see what this is. Someone you're dealing with may have a problem with using people. So this could be, like I said, I feel like you guys are connected to two different situations. So this could be the past situation because it doesn't feel like this person's energy that we're talking about here. Yeah, someone that you may be connected to that you could have been in a partnership with may have been a user here. Kind of trying to force a situation, presenting themselves one way. Yeah, but it wasn't really who they were. That could be the baby mama energy here. Okay, baby mama, baby daddy, take it as it resonates for Aquarius's person. They, okay, whoever it is we're talking about, they are jealous. They may be jealous that you've moved on. 
um, somebody's energy here, like, is not good at confrontation. <laughs> that could be y'all or them. But, they definitely are hoping you will reach out soon. And I feel like, um, yeah, Aquarius, you guys are showing up as someone who's kind of superficial, some someone who's kind of controlling, and maybe even fueled like like this passionate energy that you have, maybe fueled by disagreement, right? Yeah, and then the trust issues are affecting this re relationship, this connection. Remember, I said said how paranoid. Well, I don't know if I said how paranoid, but when I first saw y'all's cards, I was thinking, oh, uh, Aquarius kind of paranoid. <laughs> but that's how it looks when you're guarded in that energy and it's ruled by fear. That's definitely what that is. So trust issues here. Okay, and you also feel like Aquarius that um this person could pull anybody like they could have anybody but you guys like i said are going through some things you're going through something and i feel like it's connected to healing or releasing or letting go of past situations here okay so i don't know um uh, yeah I don't know if you guys are wondering like if you should either give a situation a chance or just romance in general, but the answer is going to be yes. The problems that you feel like you're facing right now are also temporary. Okay. You are ready. I am ready for love. You are ready for love, Aquarius. But there's a need for you to stay positive about the way that this is going all you need to do is believe because the key to success is positivity here you've definitely been getting signs with that ladybug energy yeah stop worrying about things that you cannot control which is anybody else you will be successful so that could be in relation to love or to something about work. But you're definitely needing to focus on the positive, right? Look for the good. And also be open to asking for help, okay? For your person. What do we have for that person? I don't even really want to... Okay. So a huge blessing is on the way for this person. But they'll be kind of stepping into the spotlight here. Others are looking up to this person. So yeah, this may be someone who does get a lot of attention, which may feel be like be why you feel like they could have anyone that they wanted. And your person is really needing to learn to kind of uh prioritize themselves. And to know that they deserve love, that they're good enough. But they're being guided also to wait because there's some transformation energy mm -hmm. happening here. For Aquarius, what do we have? This is not a new deck. But because those kind of just offer confirmation of what Tara already said, I definitely wanted to add like a healing aspect, an advice kind of aspect. Because I hate it when people say, they watching you, they thinking about you. That's all I have for you today. Like, what the hell am I supposed to do with that, right? <laughs> so guys your focus on work here your attention to work because you got that workaholic card um is likely you trying to shift your it well you could be doing it on purpose right but spirit is saying you're kind of running the risk of becoming a workaholic but the real reason that you're so focused on work is so that you don't have to focus on other things so be mindful of that, creating that work-life balance. Because if you're so focused on work, you won't allow yourself to have, to be open to love and having a good time here. Yeah. 
Yeah, it feels like there's a lot of passion in this connection between the two of you. You are also, let me clarify those two. Your fears are kind of putting you at an impasse, right? Yeah, it's giving it's giving self sabotage. Okay, keeping you stuck, refusing to talk, is keeping you from creating the dynamic that you're gonna desire here. What's this passion? Yeah, you got a lot of messages here about balancing work. Allow yourself to also have a good time. Allow yourself to enjoy yourself to feed your ego a little bit allow yourself to feel good open yourself up to yeah <laughs> oh, I want to say it like that Aquarius you might you might need to get a little something I don't want to say it like that I feel like because I feel like sexual energy is so powerful and also so important right but, like, allow yourself to do something that fuels your passion, your excitement, that sacral chakra energy, okay? Um, before, I was meditating on y'all's energy pretty heavily, right? I kept seeing a number 12. I don't know if 12 is significant to you, but um, it's simplified to the number 3. The number 3 is that creative energy, which almost always makes me think of the sacral chakra, the color orange you got two orange cards here as well connected to that so you guys may be needing to balance your sacral chakra out just a little bit here last but not least you guys have the card of destiny here so yeah I, listen Something about this relationship feels destined. And it could be that this relationship is destined or it's just destined for you to be a part of a different commitment here. But you are in this stubborn, kind of blocked off, closed off energy. And Spirit is wanting you to sn not snap out of it. I feel like they're helping you to heal from it. But be sure that you're not, not kind of sabotaging or prolonging something that was meant to be anyway, right? For your person... So they may feel like you are wearing a false mask, like you're not being honest either with yourself or with them, and that you are needing to heal here. They're definitely wanting to have some type of communication with you, but at the same time, it's like, eh, that's okay. They have kind of convinced them, yeah, because they've kind of convinced themselves, oh, maybe I was wrong about Aquarius here. But there may be something here coming to light that they are understanding just a little bit more. This person feels uh, pretty spiritual, okay? Feels pretty spiritual. They're definitely realizing that, okay, maybe this was one-sided here. And yeah, they are needing to and learning to really focus on themselves and really to do what's best for them. This is someone who's very much so focused on their spiritual journey also. Okay. It doesn't feel like healing. It just feels like that's who they are. Right? That's how it feels. 
Okay, last but not least, what is the message for... Oh, this is not the last for Aquarius. One more after this of advice. And... Don't let anyone sway you from expressing your authentic self. So again, someone in this situation is not being true. Your greatest powers come from being who you truly are. And then you also have that someone new is coming. Uh, it's a 28, which is a number 10. So we have a 6, that lover's card, about harmony and growth, spiritual growth, right? And then the 10, that number of completion, but also a number of renewal, of uh, being made whole. Here that card says an important new relationship is on the horizon. So open your mind and heart so that happiness can enter your life. All right. Listen, Aquarius, you guys are destined for a partnership of some sort. Okay. It could be with this person. It does not have to be. But you guys are closed off to the thought or idea of romance this these cards are asking you to look inside yourself and examine what's ca causing you to feel this way and uh to do also what feels right for you deep in your heart you already know the answer see so surrender as well which i'm not surprised to see because you guys got that card where you're trying to kind of control something so surrender says at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and everything will work out. Whoever it is that we're thinking of, it says your soulmate. Okay, nope, let me let me fix that. It does say your soul soulmate. It says your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. So if you you if that's the relationship that you are desiring, um, or if you're potting over someone from the past that you were like, that could have been my soulmate. No, it wasn't, okay? <laughs> it was not, all right? Um, yeah, this is really just having telling you to uh, respect and honor the memories here that you share with loved ones. But then also to trust and have faith that things are working out for the best here. There may be someone else that you're needing to forgive because this card says to stop focusing your energy on past events. Life is too precious to re to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. So uh, I'm definitely going to make some posts about forgiveness today, guys. Even if you don't feel like you can forgive someone for what it is that they did, if you don't want to forgive that person, definitely forgive the event and look for the silver lining, right? Like, okay, what is the lesson, right? And I, I was going to post that too before. I was uh, thinking about you guys' situation. I was going to post that one. Um, instead of asking why me, ask what am I supposed to learn from this situation? I feel like that's what you guys are being guided to do. Or you may have already been doing it because, like I said, you guys have been kind of in this shadow work energy. So, yeah, and I feel like you're right on track with that, okay? Because you guys got, it's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on someone else, now is the time to give that nurturing energy to yourself, okay? But, let me tell you this, Aquarius, I don't feel like that's a place that you're supposed to stay in for long, all right? So, that is going to be you guys' reading. I hope it was helpful. Let me know how this resonates, if this resonates for you in the comments below. Bye-bye.